Hello everyone, we are starting the data manipulation videos with video 22. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the dplyr verbs arrange, mutate, and summarize. And in the next video, we will discuss subsetting in R using filter and select verbs. You can find the documentation of this video on my R blog. I'll put the link in the description, which also has the code in it. So let's start. So dplyr package is a great tool to explore, clean, and transform data. When you are dealing with data, you need to know exactly what you want to do and describe to R in the way that R can understand and can execute your command. dplyr made it very easy by providing verbs we can understand and we can relate to what we are doing. And these verbs help you solve most of the challenge in data manipulation. So in this video, we'll talk about arrange, mutate, and summarize with some examples and next video we'll talk about select and filter so let's start with arrange but before we start with the arrange i want to also tell you about piping it's a very great operator that is pronounced as then this operator makes it very easy to write and to understand the code so for example when we assign a group of number to a and we can just take the mean of a by using mean function and put a in the middle when using piping operator we need to think like this we need to use a take a and then take the mean of a so this is a very simple example but in very complicated commands and codes it will be very helpful to use piping so as an example we'll be using weight change data from three group of young female diagnosed with anorexia we have three groups Group 1 is the control, group 2 is with drug 1, and group 3 with drug 2. So, let's start with the arrange. So, we have two options. If we want to arrange the data from A to Z or Z to A if the column contains alphabetics, and we can arrange the data from small to big or big to small if the column contains numeric values. So, if we go to RStudio, here this first command is install and load the data so we can see we have our table here now what we want to do is we want to arrange the three column according to the alphabetic so we want the cbt to be first then control then ft so first what we need to do is we need to install and load the dplyr package i already installed it so i'm just gonna load it so here what we are saying to r Take data, which is our table, and then arrange the table according to the treat column, and then assign it to data. It's a very good habit to reassign the data because sometimes, for example, in the mutate, if you change something and you don't reassign it, your data will not be saved. So let's do it and let's view our data. So now it's ascending from A to Z. We can do it again descending and let's view the data so ft first and then control and then cbt obviously we can do that again for for example the pre weight so we can view the data so it made it descending from the highest number in the pre weight which is 94.9 and goes to 70 so next what we need to do is we need to add another column and this is what the mutate verb does in dplyr package so what we need to do is first we need to write the name of the new column then we need to write what we want the column to be so here i want to calculate the percent change between the pre weight and the post weight so i want to see if there is an increase in the weight or decrease in percentage so let's assign it to data again and now let's view data and here we have the percentage change for example in the first row we have three percent change with the drug one and seven percent change in drug two and in the control there is a minus five change so it's also like decrease five percent decrease in the weight so we came to the last verb which is summarize so here what we want to do is we want the mean of that percent change 
but we don't want the mean of all because we expect a different result from each group so we are using the group by function in the dplyr what this does is groups the patient according to their treatment and then take the average of the percent change in that group so if we run it for example here we see that the average uh, change in the drug one is 3.7 percent change in the weight increase and there is no change in the control and there is an 8% increase in weight in drug 2 in FT. So we discussed arrange, mutate and summarize with some example. Next video will be about select and filter verbs to discuss the subsetting in R. Thank you for watching.